<sighs> Welcome to the most stressful video I'm ever gonna have to film. Why did you do this to me, Vibe With Aid? Why? <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome to the video. So today we are participating in a tag challenge. My lovely friend here on YouTube, Vibe With Aid, kicked this one off. Uh, we wanted to start a new tag for the music festival and EDM community here on YouTube to sort of just like bring us all together and just come up with a new challenge for a bunch of creators to film. So Aid kicked it off. Uh, this is gonna be our top 10 EDM sets of all time, of all time. In all of the years that I've been raving, I have to pick just 10. Help me. <laughs> but before we get into it, I just wanted to say anyone can participate in this tag, you guys. Just hashtag my top 10 rave edition. I'll write it out here. Um, anyone can participate. If you guys are a creator, you have a YouTube channel, feel free to do this. But I am tagging three people. So I'm going to tag the festival finesser. Frisky Hug and Erica and Frida to participate in this challenge. You guys, you're tagged. You're next. With that being said, before we get started, if you guys are new here, I would absolutely love it if you guys would hit the subscribe button down below. It costs nothing. It's free. Come join the family <laughs> and turn on the post notifications bell so you're notified every time that I upload. I'll also pop in my social media information if you guys want to check me out over there. Okay, so let's get into this. This video is going to be very long. Grab a snack, grab a drink. I'm just warning you now, I talk a lot. So when I tell you that I've tried to work on this list just for my own self so many times and I have failed, it's because I've been going to festivals since, I want to say like 2015 and I've been going to EDM shows since like 2010, 2011. So there are just so many that hold like special places in my heart for good reasons. So to narrow it down to 10 when I'm an indecisive person was very difficult, but I give it my best effort and I have a lot of reasons and I got my whole list here. So let's get into this. I'm gonna start from 10 to one. I'm gonna turn it all around you guys. You guys are getting number one last. So you have to wait till the end. <laughs> So number 10 was a very recent show. It was this March. It was my last show that I was able to attend actually before this quarantining process. So it sort of holds a special place in my heart uh, and I'm glad it made my top 10. That's how good it was. So I really got to go out with a bang and it was IO show here in Brooklyn. It was at King's Hall in Avant Gardner. This made my top 10 um, for many reasons. One, he played over four hours. He went on at midnight and played till like 4 a.m. ish. I, I literally had to leave at like 4.30 because he was still going. He's a techno artist. Um, I've become familiar with him this past year. He's definitely someone that's like really been exploding on the scene. I love his music and I've just been getting more and more into techno. It was such a vibe. That venue is so cool. It's a little bit on the smaller side. It's more of a club kind of atmosphere. <laughs> very dark, very kind of like grungy underground feeling. Um, so much fun. We had a crew of like 25 people, which that never happens to me. I was there with some members of the Lunchbox team and one of them, Andrew, has a huge rave family of like 20 of them. They all drove in from all over in like New York, the suburbs, like all drove in to come to the show together and I got to hang out with all of them. So it was just such a fun crew. And like I said, like I owe played an incredible techno set, high energy the entire time, great time. So Io is my number 10. This is gonna be so long, cause I'm gonna say so many things. Okay, number nine, Lane 8. Lane 8 at Imagine Music Festival 2019 was 
so good. So Vibe with Eight actually got me on to Lane 8 and my best friend Vicky. Um, you know, he's definitely more chill. Like, he's a deep house artist, so I would listen to him here and there, but I wasn't really like listening to him aggressively beforehand. Um, but I had heard his live sets are fucking incredible, so I was like, I'm not missing him. So I'm at Imagine Music Festival. I was with Vibe with Aid and a couple other people. They actually went to go see Tipper, I think. And I was like, guys, I'm not leaving. I really want to see Lane 8. So I stayed at Lane 8 by myself. And then luckily some people I know from the Lunchbox team and some other friends I literally met that weekend happened to be at Lane 8. So I ended up hanging out with them. But it's the first time I sort of like really just did something on my own. I was sort of like, nope, everybody split up. This is where I want to be. This is what, you know, I want to experience tonight. And I did that for myself. And I'm so glad I did. He blew me away it was one of the only times in my life at a show where i was completely caught up it was just such a vibe like i describe it it was exactly what i needed in that moment it was so good and like there was a fire machines blowing the production was so cool and i was just vibing out the whole time i was dancing i was in my own world had a great time the lunchbox people that i was with they ended up being so cool like everybody i met was just dancing together and hanging out and all smiles and it was just such a good vibe and i fell in love with lane eight during that moment and i cannot wait to see him Again, so highly recommend seeing a lane eight set. That is my number nine set. Okay, this one was tricky. I had a bunch like in this slot, but my number eight set is Above and Beyond at Electric Zoo this past year, 2019. So Above and Beyond is gonna be on this list again, guys. I had to have two in here. I'm sorry, they're just that good, okay? Their Izu set was just like perfection. I've seen them so many times. They have so many different albums, like, they play everything, but this set in particular, I was with my best friends, Vicky and Tara. We were sort of like hanging out in the VIP area and they played just the most incredible track list. They played a lot off of the We Are All We Need album, which is one of my favorite things. It's like when I first fell in love with Above and Beyond and sometimes they don't play those songs as much anymore because they have so much new music. So we got to hear so many throwbacks that we fucking love, like Sticky Fingers, like it just was so good and we were so happy with the, the entire track list. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about why Above and Beyond are so special to me in the other set, but just music wise, vibe wise production like it was at izu main stage it was so cool it was the last set of the night um and we had sort of like an older crowd around us and they were all just loving it so i really just had a great time honestly and that set list like i could listen to that set over and over again so that that one sits up pretty high for me at number eight number seven mr dylan francis dylan francis had to be on my top 10. i love him so much i feel like i don't talk about him enough on my channel you guys Easily one of my favorite people to see live ever. There, and I didn't even mention the set, at um, EDC Las Vegas Main Stage 2017. down i was with my best friends tara and brady we went to main stage and the game plan was we were going to see half of dylan francis and leave early and then go see half of above and beyond because they were both playing hour and a half sets that didn't happen because his set was so fucking fire that we couldn't leave main stage we, we looked at each other we were like we're not moving also very special because we met our friends sarah and mike during that set they were just dancing next to us 
they approached us and said, hey guys, like, can we hang out with you? We said, of course. Ended up hanging out uh, and then I met up with them at EDC 2018 2019 and then I've seen them at other festivals and they're a part of our Ray fam now so it's just like a special moment because we met them during that set Dylan is so fun live guys there is no one that makes me shake my ass as much as Dylan like the amount of steps I have during his sets his visuals are hysterical I fucking love Gerald like I love everything about him his personality he's so funny I just couldn't support him more um, and it's just high energy fun it's a good time all around. So Dylan is number seven, EDC Las Vegas 2017. Okay, number six, our first mention of the legendary Eric Prids. Of course, he's on this. <laughs> it's not a top 10 without Eric Prids. So this is his hollow show specifically in New York City this past December. If any of you guys were lucky enough to experience this set, you will understand why. Uh, he only did a few of these in the world, but basically, Eric Prids' production is the best in the game hands down like they're that man and his team are ridiculous everything from their lighting the visuals like the entire production is so well put together and hollow was a special show in particular because they were only doing it so many times so i'm going to put pictures up here there were 3d visuals like this was in an ex new york expo center which i can't even describe how massive that is how many people fit in there he did three nights in a row unreal unreal the most mind-blowing images i've ever seen in my life this set was ridiculous like he played for over three hours we ended up like leaving before he was even off because it was just like such a long night um but he has multiple aliases so you really just never know where you're going to get with him but in particular that one just because it's you know you're never going to see it again it's a once in a lifetime kind of experience i was with my trainer for my gym emily who i love it was like one of her first progressive house shows one of my subscribers silvio who i knew was going uh he was there by himself so we adopted him into the rave fam and then i met um this guy charles who was awesome and one of his friends is a subscriber it was like a small world so then he was there by himself we adopted him and it was the four of us the whole night and it was just the perfect example of people coming together and just making a rave fam for the night so it was just a great time good memories okay guys my number five set is another above and beyond set <laughs> this was their circuit ground set this past year at edc las vegas in 2019 this one was special for a couple reasons and i'll talk about it in a little bit but essentially the whole lineup at circuit grounds that night was insane um eric prids was right before this so just like the whole lineup was insane I was with such a fun group of people. I was with my Ray fam, my friend Sarah and Mike. Like, it was just such a good vibe. It was Friday of the festival. Above and Beyond, if you guys are not familiar, are special for a couple reasons. So I first discovered them when I watched the EDC Las Vegas documentary, Under the Electric Sky. Highly recommend it, it's one of my favorite movies. And I just started listening to their music and then the We Are All We Need album like set me off on the deep end being obsessed with them. They 
are just like more than artists like their whole live music experience is crazy and they display these messages up on the screen in real time so they'll type on a computer and you'll see what they're writing up on the screen and the messages are always so like heartwarming and uplifting and like just what you need to hear in the moment so it's like very special it connects you with them and then they always have this moment towards the very end of the set called push the button so they bring people up from the crowd to come on stage and then they push a button and it like resets the song and it's usually the song Sun and Moon. Um, go listen to that, it's the best. But anyway, this set was special. Their song Show Me Love just came out, which I love with Armin Van Buren. <laughs> And it was just so fun and it was high energy and again the vibes are really good we just finished this eric prid set we had a good crew with us it's edc like it's just such a good moment um and then another incredible moment they brought out seven lions to debut their new single with him see the end seven lions this was like one of the first years in a while he wasn't playing edc so we weren't expecting him to be there and all of a sudden they put his logo up on the screen and we started freaking out and I was like, oh my god, Seven Lions, blah, blah, blah. And then I look on stage and I see him on stage with them. And it just was like waterworks. Like it was just such an incredible moment. So watching back on my EDC vlogs, listening to that set, I was like, yep, this is one of those moments. So they're my number five. Number four, Elenium at Cosmic Meadow, EDC Las Vegas 2018. Elenium had to be in here. He's one of my favorite artists. I just connect so much with his lyrics and his songs on like a deeper level. I just love his music period. And then his live sets are a whole nother thing. Like it's just so entertaining because you got kind of get like hit in the feels, but then he can also go heavier and like a little bit more dubstep, a little bit more bassy. It's all fun. It's all high energy, but um, I just love his live performance. It's really cool. He plays some instruments and it's really awesome. Cosmic Meadow in particular, one of my favorite stages at EDC Las Vegas. It's sort of this like grassy area really cool stage design and 2018 in particular we had a really fun group which again it just goes to show the group you're with and the experience you're having sort of can make or break a set for you so i was with brady and tara and then we were with our friends sarah and mike who we had just met the year prior at dylan francis and they had friends with them i think they were related somehow I think it was Mike's brother-in-law or sister-in-law. Anyway, so it was like a whole new rave fam. Everyone was feeling good, having the best time. We just saw Ikali for the first time. He went into Elenium at Cosmic Meadow and I will roll the clips. We were just in pure bliss, pure heaven. It was an incredible Elenium set. That was like back when he had his song like Fortress and like all of the songs that I love so, so much. And some of his remixes were just incredible. So it was unforgettable one of my favorite elenium sets i've ever seen to date okay my number three set i was just watching again today to remind myself is seven lions at imagine music festival 2019 a recent set of his and by this point guys i've seen seven lions so many times so it's hard to pick a favorite but imagine was different imagine he came out of the gate, his track list just incredible. Like he played so many remixes that were unexpected and new at the time. A Sandstorm remix that literally blew my mind. Like I got chills all over my body, I still get chills. <laughs> satisfaction remix that was new he played this song it was fucking sun and moon by above and beyond into rl grime and miguel song stay for it Like, I will roll the clip, Vibe with Aiden and I were shooketh to our core. Tears. There were literal tears in my eyes. Like, 
and then he played Clarity by Zed. Like that set was unmatchable tracklist wise. Like it was just fucking incredible. The lasers in production at Imagine were so unexpected, but so good. Like I loved their main stage design. It was so much fun. We had the perfect view, such a fun crew. Taylor Bruno was with us. Like we just had such a fun fam that weekend. And again, Imagine just came out of nowhere and blew me away. And it just was one of the best Seven Lion sets I've ever seen. His music has changed my life. I love him as an artist. Oh. Cherry on top, how can I forget this? Why it's number three, on top of all of that, after the set, we went to one of the other stages. We were just hanging out, I think it was Claude Von Stroke's set, and we look over to our right, and Seven Lions' wife is standing in the crowd. And then we look to her left, and Seven Lions is standing next to her. So I grabbed my friends, and I was like, guys, we have to go say hello, we will never have this opportunity ever again. So we went over and met Seven Lions and his wife right after that set. I'm at a loss for words. It was, I hugged him. I hugged Seven Lions. <laughs> it was one of the best moments of my life. His wife is amazing. It was incredible. Yeah, mind blowing. So number three, 100%. Okay guys, we're almost to the top here. My number two set of all time, Eric Prids at EDC Las Vegas 2019. Yes, this year it was that good. Guys, I already sort of covered him, but he's just legendary. There's nothing like his production and his visuals. This set in particular stands out amongst the rest for several reasons. I kind of touched on it with the Above and Beyond set, but we had such a good group. It was my whole rave fam, Tara and Brady, and Tara's brother Eric was with us this year. Our friends Sarah and Mike were with us. It was their first time seeing Eric Prid, so it's always a good moment when you're introducing someone to your favorite artist. And again, it was right after... Um, Zoo's alias, Zoo played as Blacklist, which was a really cool set, into Eric Prids, into Above and Beyond, and the fireworks were in between Prids and Above and Beyond. Incredible moment. Prids is known for obviously his music, but he has two aliases, Prida and Serez D. Serez D is more of his like darker techno alias, and Prida is more like light, uplifting, progressive house. Prida is my favorite of all of his like music that he does. He released three different EPs this past year in 2019. Love them. So memorable. They stand out, at, you know, in my mind as some of my favorite songs. And he played a lot of Prita in that set. He played Every Day, which is my favorite Prit song of all time. <laughs> Musically, unforgettable. It just was so uplifting, it was so fun, it was so dancey. We were just like having the best time of our life. And that was on Friday of EDC when it was like the most freezing day ever. Um, it just warmed us up. Like it warmed us up, it warmed our souls. We were having the best time. And I just looked back on the videos and it was unforgettable, unforgettable. I loved it. Number one set of all time, can you guys guess? I'll give you a second to guess. Seven Lions, EDC Las Vegas 2017 at Circuit Grounds. Um, it was really hard for me to pick a number one. I, I was going back and forth with a couple different options, but this one has to be the best. And I watched this set back, it's on YouTube if you guys are interested. Um, music wise, some of my favorite Seven Lions songs of all time, like some of his earlier stuff was in here. He had an Above and Beyond remix. He had uh, Porter Robinson in there. But most importantly, his set happened during the EDC Las Vegas fireworks, which are the most incredible set you will ever see in your entire life. So he played his song, A Way to Say Goodbye, which always makes me cry, uh, during when the fireworks like started in the sky. I'll insert some clips here. tears were shed. I think that was one of my first memories of actually crying during a set, like a 
something touched me so deeply that it made me cry and it was that set so I think that's why it's my number one um I, yeah just love him as an artist it was such a good moment me and Brady and Tara were together just like totally enveloped in this moment in this love for this music and for this artist and for EDC and it was just a standout moment so I hope you guys can go back and watch that. I'll try and link it up here or link it down below because it just was incredible. It was mind-blowing and it just reminded us why we love EDC Las Vegas so much. And he's such a staple artist for us. So yeah, I mean, if you want to talk about moments that, you know, made you fall in love with the EDM community, that would be it. So that's why it's my number one. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I had so much fun filming this one. Thank you, Vibe with Aid, for kicking this off. If any of you guys want to participate, just hashtag my top 10 rave edition. Uh, you don't have to be tagged. You can just do it on your own if you guys want to. Uh, leave me a comment down below with your top 10 sets. I would love to hear what you guys are into. And again, I'm tagging the Festival Finesser, Erica and Frida, and Frisky Hug in this challenge. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.